Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. We're this time I'm over at Taco Bell because nacho fries have returned yet again and they're loaded just a little bit differently this time along with having a cool new option available. So let me explain. Feast your eyes on their all new black bean loaded taco fries. And while this definitely looks like a hot mess right now, I gotta admit guys, it still looks pretty appetizing. All right, so starting off with the obvious, what we've got here is a decent portion of their returning nacho fries featuring those bold Mexican spices topped off with black beans, red strips, lettuce, diced tomatoes, nacho cheese sauce, spicy ranch, and shredded cheddar cheese. And as you probably guessed by now, there's no meat in this variant. So black beans is definitely the protein of choice I decided to go with, guys. And honestly, it adds a nice little bit of extra color to everything else that's on here. And I gotta admit again, very, very nice presentation, even though it does look like a little bit of a hot mess, but still. So let's see how all this does flavor-wise. This is the all new black bean loaded taco fries here at Taco Bell. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I'm not gonna stun on this one, guys. You can't tell me this is not a colorful looking platter. This looks really, really solid. And again, with the addition of that shredded lettuce and the red strips obviously adding a new dimension visually to this one, the black beans are also adding a little bit of extra to it. And honestly, that's one of the main reasons, like I said, I wanted to try it. Something a little bit different. And I gotta admit, I'm digging what I'm seeing here, even though it does look like a hot mess. And truth be told, I've reviewed every single variation of these nacho fries since they've come out. So naturally adding this one to the portfolio was obviously gonna be in the cards. And honestly, I'm really digging again the presentation of what we've got here. Spicy ranch, black beans, plenty of nacho cheese. We've got some lettuce, the red strips. This is just a nice combination of goodness here, guys. Let's give this a shot. It's the all new black bean loaded taco fries here at Taco Bell. Let's do it. Mmm. A delicious hot mess. Mmm. Oh yeah. Those black beans are smooth, creamy, and rich, and they're blending beautifully with the spicy ranch on this, guys. That is a beautiful combination. And of course, the actual potato goodness from the nacho fries themselves, you really can't hate on these at all. They're really, really popular at Taco Bell for a reason. The light spicing that it's got on its own, it adds a very nice dimension to the overall flavor. And of course, with the nacho cheese sauce, very, very lovely all around. Pretty nice. But of course, it's a little on the carby side, and that has a lot to do, obviously, with the fries and the tortilla chips together in this one, guys. So you're gonna kind of get that feeling as you're chewing it. It's a lot of carbs, but even still, nice quality on everything else so far. Let's keep going in. Mmm. That spicy ranch is the wild card with this one, easily. It's really good. And speaking of said spicy ranch, it seems like it's the replacement to the normal light sour cream that you would get on something like this. Usually the Bel Grande versions of the nacho fries typically have just the meat options, obviously, and obviously sour cream to go with. So the spicy ranch is adding a nice dimension of cool flavor with a little bit of heat, and it mixes beautifully, obviously, with the nacho cheese. But again, for me, those black beans are really adding to this. Just a lovely situation there. You know, as I'm getting further into this, I'm kind of reminded of that loaded taco burrito that I reviewed a while back. A lot of the ingredients that are on these loaded taco fries are actually in that burrito as well. Now, naturally that had meat, I believe. This is with the black beans, but there is a variant right now in the menu which you can actually get burrito-wise with all of this stuff together. I may have to give that one a shot. All right, let's get back into this real fast here because I really want to give this more of a go for you guys. And again, those red strips are adding a nice little dimension. And I'm liking the fact that it has like shredded lettuce on here. I really, really like that. So. Let's go for a couple of more on this one, as you can see. Very colorful, looks pretty beautiful in HD from what I'm looking at here anyway. Very, very solid. And again, the platter, it's a pretty decent amount of food actually in this, guys. As I'm looking at this right now, it feels pretty decent for $2.99. There's a lot in here. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh, and did I mention that Spicy Ranch is pretty banging with this? Guys, like I said, I'm not missing the sour cream whatsoever on this. It adds such a nice, cool, rich dimension to this one on top of a little bit of heat, mixing in with that nacho cheese sauce and again, the spicing from the nacho fries themselves. Just a beautiful combination of goodness all around. So let me see if I can grab another little colorful forkful for you. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll round this one out with one more. But as you can see, guys, lots of goodness. And again, I love the dimension of the black beans on this. It really feels like a hearty protein on top of everything. But still, guys, beautiful situation all around. And like I said, $2.99, you're getting a lot of food here. This is pretty banging. One more bite, one more money shot of this one, and then we'll wrap this review up. Hang on. Hmm. Yes. All around. Still a hot mess, even with everything I have left in this one right now, guys. And again, I'm very glad to have checked out this variation with the black beans because it's a nice option to have on the menu. And honestly, it breaks the monotony of all the other usual suspects that we see here. And it's got all that familiar Taco Bell flavor on top of it. Very nice. Order ahead and pick yours up at our contactless drive-thru. 
Well, what's old is definitely new again, and Taco Bell, I think, knows that better than anybody. Obviously, they've recycled so much on their menu over the years, but they still find something kind of new to do with it, and starting off with the nacho fries as the base for this one obviously is a great starting point to begin with. I mean, you're getting the classic bold Mexican spices, all the flavor that those nacho fries deliver, and then you're topping it with the familiar flavors of Taco Bell in general. And again, the spicy ranch is a banging situation. All the other ingredients, very, very solid. They add to the overall experience, the nacho cheese sauce, the crunch of the red strips, and of course, the nice shredded lettuce on that to give you a little variation and just the appearance of it there is a really nice touch, guys. But honestly, again, the black beans really add a nice dimension to this one. And honestly, I'm really glad that I tried that over the other variations of meats because it really is different and the flavor is enhanced with them. It's smooth, rich, creamy and it blends beautifully with everything else in that. Just a nice job all around with this one. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give these all new black bean loaded taco fries a pretty rock solid 9 out of 10. I mean, it really did deliver flavor across the board and it was very rich, very hearty. And for $2.99, it definitely feels substantial in the hand to hold. All the familiar flavors of Taco Bell right there. And again, on top of that base of the nacho fries that you know and love, at least I do anyway, I definitely dig them. This works very, very well. And visually, it's a hot mess still, but it's a tasty hot mess. All right, so do me a quick favor. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this variation of the nacho fries a shot over here at Taco Bell. I mean, it doesn't feel like they've been off the menu too long, but are you still pretty excited to give this version a shot? And if you do decide to give this black bean version a try, how do you think it compares to the overall meat variant that you're pretty much used to? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep The Sour Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. You know, a black bean option kind of fits with Halloween for some reason for me. And being that we're not too off from that holiday, let's just hope this one sticks around at least that long. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.